accumulation that they feel, you know. Yeah. So jadi, one of the reason is uh, to regain that self-esteem, you know. Harga right. diri sebagai satu negara besar sekarang ini. You know? Correct. Yeah. Sebagai dan negara yang bisa bersaing Correct. dengan mereka. You know? And to erase that humiliation that was caused, you know, for hundreds of years oleh Barat. Correct. You know. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sahabat Dios, dimanapun saja berada, kembali berjumpa lagi dengan saya, Iksan. Senang sekali berjumpa dengan Anda semua uh, dalam program-program kami. Dan pada malam ini, saya kembali menemui dato saya, dato Jenderal Amir Guntur. Beliau adalah seorang Profesional Army General dari Kerajaan Malaysia. Dalam topik hari ini, kita akan membicarakan tentang tension di Laut Cina Selatan atau South China Sea yang banyak sekali melibatkan negara-negara di Asia Tenggara, South East Asia. Assalamualaikum uh, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat malam, Dato. Eh, Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ya, terima kasih, Dato. Sudah kembali bisa hadir di Dios Channel dalam berbagi ilmu, berbagi pengalaman, berbagi pengetahuan. Dato, malam ini kita akan berbicara mengenai tension di Laut Cina Selatan dan juga uh, melibatkan Malaysia tentunya, Indonesia juga, Vietnam, Filipina, dan pasti uh, Republik Rakyat China dan United States, ya, dan, uh, dan Australia juga. British malah juga ikut dan beberapa negara Europe. Tapi sebelum kita membicarakan topik kita, Dato, boleh Dato uh, sedikit briefly sedikit uh, your background, Dato. Siapa siapa Dato ini sebenarnya? Terima kasih, Dato. Silakan. Oke. Okay. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Pak Irsan, terima kasih uh, undang saya untuk ke acara pada malam ini. Ya. Terima kasih. And now uh, a bit of myself. Uh, Uh, saya mendapat uh, my commission ya yeah, yes. daripada yeah. Royal Military Academy uh, Sandhurst di United yes. Kingdom. United yeah. Kingdom, correct. Uh, United yeah. Kingdom in uh, 1965. Alam bersama alma mater dengan uh, uh, William, oh, okay. uh, William of yeah, Wales. Correct. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. But I, I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was commissioned from the uh, Royal Military Academy uh, Sandhurst in 1965. Uh, dan uh, saya ikut saya an infantryman a combatant yeah, uh, yeah. ikut uh, dalam uh, towards the tail end of uh, Sukarno's uh, confrontation towards I Malaysia see. See. Uh, end of 65 66 yeah yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, di sepanjang perbatasan uh, Kalimantan Barat ke Indonesia dengan uh, Sarawak Malaysia oh. mm-hmm. okay, okay, uh, okay, dan okay. juga um, Uh, setelah itu uh, uh, banyak kursus saya menghadiri uh, di luar negeri dalam negeri yeah, yeah. Uh, di luar yeah. negeri uh, contohnya di Amerika uh, saya uh, attended the, the American uh, uh, Airborne Ranger and uh, uh, Airborne Ranger course wow. yeah. uh, di right. uh, Fort Benning di Fort Benning Fort Georgia Benning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then I attended uh, my command and uh, staff course di um, di Bandung Indonesia. Oh, okay, yeah. it's a squad, it's a squad, yeah. Ada yeah. squad, yeah. yeah. Then uh, my senior that. officer course, uh, yeah. saya menghadiri my senior officer course at uh, the uh, the Land Warfare Center Australia Canberra. Ah, see. Di Queensland. Yeah, 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 Queensland juga. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, in 1983. Then uh, Joint Services Staff College uh, di uh, Canberra. Mana? Ah, see. yeah, yeah. Uh, Correct. Di Canberra yeah. in 19 uh, in 1986. Okay. Dan juga saya pernah menjadi uh, Malaysia's Defence Advisor di Canberra, Australia dari uh, tahun 89 sampai uh, 92. Mana? You know? Okay. Yeah. You got a lot of And, big uh, career. Uh, yeah. And command punya my experience. Uh, I was uh, 
commander of the um, of the parachute uh, force yeah, of yeah. parachute brigade of the uh, Malaysian of the Ar Malaysian Army Rapid Deployment Force. Okay. I was a commander of that uh, brigade, you know, of the okay, Rapid yeah. Deployment Force parachute uh, brigade parachute terse, yeah. uh, of uh, of uh, of the Malaysian Army. Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, my last appointment, uh, commander of the Malaysian uh, Malaysian uh, Army Training Command and Doctrine. Uh, okay, I see. Uh, so you uh, have and I, I had as a lot, uh, lot of uh, big big position, yeah. big career, the two. Uh, I'm career done not bad. In yeah. the and on top of that, uh, that you got uh, was commander uh, of commander of uh, of the Army in your combat uh, combat training school. Yeah. yeah. And was involved in a lot of uh, joint uh, training uh, with Australia, yeah. uh, and also with Indonesia. You know? see, yeah. In fact, uh, I pioneered the first um, uh, exercise with troops in uh, with Australia uh, in Queensland in the North Barracks, you know, yeah, in 1975. Yeah. You know? oh, and also with Indonesia in yeah, 19 yeah. Uh, in 1977. Yeah. Okay. I find it those those uh, join uh, uh, exercises with troops. So, but the base of your experience, background, and things that though, you are the right person for us to talk to about the tension and sub China Sea, because uh, it's, it's all about problems. military <laughs> plus the knowledge you have. Tension the sub China Sea ini bermula dari uh, ambition of the China to control the sub China Sea to climb the nine dash line katanya hmm. itu why the china try to climb the big part of the south china sea and then why why do they try to ignore the moratoriums that are unclosed okay i think that sebelum kita when we pergi ke menjawab soalan itu ya yeah uh, i feel saya rasa, saya rasa perlu kita mengetahui sedikit you know okay uh, the, the, the geopolitics of uh, a situation of the uh, South China Sea, you know? Okay. Kita perlu mendapat gambaran, ya. Yeah? Okay. Nah, mendapat gambaran sedikit sebanyak tentang South China Sea, you know? Jadi, uh, South China Sea ini merupakan uh, uh, is being shared by many uh, littoral states di sekitar itu, you know? Hmm. Ada samping uh, the ASEAN states, ya. Yeah? Yeah. Ada samping the ASEAN states uh, of uh, uh, Malaysia, uh, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, Brunei, uh, the Philippines, uh, uh, Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. Itu kan mempunyai hubungan langsung with South China Sea, it directly. Correct. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know? And of course, uh, the non-ASEAN uh, states, um, well, uh, Taiwan, you know, and uh, yeah. PRC, you know, the People's yeah. Republic of China. China. Right? Yeah. Now, uh, the South China Sea too has been a, 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 tra a, a traditional maritime route, you know, Correct. traditional trade maritime, uh, the, uh, maritime trade route, you know, dari yeah. China from East Asia, you know, yeah. uh, linking it towards uh, the Indian Ocean and towards the West. Yeah. So it has been a contentious uh, maritime area since... Uh, the beginning of time, you know, right. <laughs> it has been contentious, you know, yeah. and uh, China has always played uh, a major actor, you know, in the South China Sea, you know, in, in that route, you know, Correct. over the years, you know, from the time of history, the written history, from the, the Xin dynasty, you know, or Qin dynasty, as you spell it, Q I, yeah. you know, and that was before, before uh, two, about 200, before BC, you know, from that time onwards, you know, okay. China had been playing a, a role there, you know. So, uh, sebenarnya, how did it become so contentious of late, you know? Yeah. Adalah oleh kerana uh, the UNCLOS, you know? yeah. the United Nations Convention of uh, Law of the Sea, you know, yes. Yes. that was ratified by uh, most uh, nations in 1994, actually. It started... Okay. Um, in 1982, only fully ratified or implemented in 1994. And United States is not a, a signatory to the UNCLOS. Ah, okay. 
Asyik-asyik. Ya, ya, ya. Jadi ya, no, with that uh, apa nama tu uh, convention, you know, mm-hmm. uh, ex- uh, including uh, daripada territorial waters, uh, apa nama tu uh, uh, kepada ke, 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 uh, to the EEZ contagion, apa nama tu um, uh, exclusive, exclusive, yeah, exclusive zone. zone. Yeah. Uh, to the continental shelf, you know. So these are the details, you know. We will not go to that, you know. Yeah. Jadi kita, so because of that terms, you know, sampailah di ke, apa nama tu, di ke EEZ e- 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 tu, yeah. extending to about uh, 200 nautical miles, you know? yeah. So with that uh, unclos uh, being uh, implemented, jadi banyak, kebanyakan uh, the member state that it, around South China Sea, you know, yeah, yeah. taking advantage of the terms of UNCLOS, you yeah? Okay. Jadi, yeah. mengenai standing dia punya EEZ, dan certain areas tu mereka were developing, uh, apa nama tu, reefs into yeah, yeah. islands. Yeah. For example, even Malaysia yeah, yeah. Turn, turn one reef into an island, you know? uh, the, the Swallow Reef, you know, which is okay. off of uh, uh, Borneo, off Sabah, you know? Yeah. And likewise, the, the Philippines, the uh, in the Paracels, uh, the right. Scarborough Reef, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of late, you know, what China has extend, has militarized that area, both in the Paracels yeah. and in the spread list. As a, uh, untuk ke pengetahuan uh, mana yang kurang arit tentang South China Sea, actually, uh, yeah, the, uh, most of the uh, shoals and the islets and yeah. the reefs are in uh, two uh, big, big areas. Which yeah. be, which are now very contentious. The right. Paracel Group, you know, sebelah utara, uh, west of uh, the Philippine Islands. Then the spread list, the spread list uh, west of uh, the Sabah State of Malaysia yeah. and east of uh, east of Vietnam. Eh? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, these are the two uh, group of areas, the Paracels and the spread list, which have become contentious. You know. Uh, dengan uh, contohnya dengan uh, Malaysia, you know? mem- yeah. mem- menjadikan uh, uh, the, the Swallow Reef, yeah, uh, the yeah. Swallow Reef sebagai yeah. satu island now, you know. Yeah. And uh, uh, the Philippines Scarborough and China beberapa islets dijadikan itu uh, military yes. military uh, yeah. aspect, you know. So oh, China right. has militarized the area. Yeah, you know? yeah. They build the uh, what you call it the uh, uh, islands in there. Yeah. Uh, so uh, and then um, so to me, uh, penyebaran uh, apa namanya itu uh, ketegangan di uh, di South China Sea itu yeah. bermula dengan amplop sebenarnya, walaupun uh, sebelumnya itu sudah ada, you know? yeah, yeah. tetapi okay. dia ber, ber, bersemarak, you know? yeah, yeah. become more become contentious more ex- yeah. Yeah. You know, after the amplop. So by amplop okay. terms, so, yeah, uh, given ex- uh, extended. Uh, the EEZ to 200 apa namanya ini, nautical mile, 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 nautical mile and then the continental shelf you know from the baseline of uh, of, of of the of the little total state you know yeah ini the two was that the back uh, ASEAN way back tahun 71 yeah. ada membuat declaration yeah, yeah. an international declaration yeah. uh, to turn uh, the south china sea to yeah. uh, into uh, a zone of Peace and freedom. So the declaration what they call it, Zofan, Zone Zofan. of Peace and Freedom. Yeah, that was in 1971. Jadi now it's become outdated. You know. Yeah, absolutely. And then has been overtaken by uh, events of the UNCLOS and also of, of uh, an arrangement. You know, uh, yeah. uh, di antara di antara the ASEAN states. Yeah, dengan dengan uh, PRC dengan China, China, known as DOC, you know, the Declaration of Conduct, DOC. I see, DOC, Declaration so, of Conduct. So, ini merupakan uh, satu uh, consultative semuanya um, uh, declaration between the ASEAN littoral states and between ASEAN and uh, the PRC, China. the People's Republic of China. Republic of China. China. Yeah. Nah, jadi, so that yeah. is the background. Yeah. Yeah. Kenapa? Yeah. You know? yeah. Kenapa uh, China? Yeah. It's so adamant uh, dengan uh, implementing dia punya uh, nine dash line. Actually, yeah. mula-mulanya dia, 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 they were banging on dia punya 11 dash line. <laughs> <laughs> Not reduced to nine dash line. Nine, yeah. it, originally, it's a 11 dash line. Yeah. Uh, that was, uh, apa namanya itu, uh, uh, 
uh, timbulnya di 11 Deshland itu daripada treaty of the of the second opium war dengan France. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that was in 1859. Oh, yeah, in 1859. 1859. Yeah, 1859. Yeah. Ah, sebenarnya itu. You know, the 11 Deshland. Yeah, yeah. Walaupun tidak ada tercatat di dalam uh, actually it was the Treaty of Tianjin mm. uh, between France and dengan, dengan the, the, the Ming right. Dynasty of China. Yeah. That was 19, uh, 1859. You know, 1859. Uh, during the first, the first phase of the Second Opium War. You know? okay. Jadi why do uh, why does China you know terlalu adamant on the Nine Dash Line? You got to go back to history. China. Yeah. Yeah. Why they have got that side, you know of wanting to hanging on. To the nine dash line, correct. Yeah. The nine dash line, we have Now, uh, you see, right, uh, China, any, you see, being a, uh, a, a, a powerful nation since history, you know. Correct. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, tetapi, well, China over the, the, the years, they've got so many dynasties, then terlalu banyak apa infighting. Between right. the the, the, the Middle the Kingdom, they call themselves, you know, you know, yeah. between the various between the various uh, kingdom and dynasties, you know. Yeah. Jadi in the uh, 18th century, you know, the West took advantage of this, you know, okay. especially the British. During that period, eight, uh, late 18th uh, century, you know, 18 something, yeah. uh, late the uh, uh, 19th century, not 18th century, uh, when. When the Britannia rules a wave, you know. <laughs> yes, yes. Right. When Britannia yes. rules a wave, you know, conquering every, wherever the okay. wave went, you know, yeah. uh, Britannia will be there, you know. I tell you, Britain took advantage of that situation, you know, in the 1840s and uh, forced uh, China uh, to, to, to accept the you know, opium trade, okay. which China uh, declined, you know. Yeah, yeah. And they can uh, Britain and force that uh, that trade was China. China re- refused, you know, yeah. declined, you know, and that caused the first opium war. Yeah. Okay. There was uh, in the eighteen something, eighteen thirties, uh, you know, the yes, first yeah. opium war. Yeah. war. Nah, you see the first opium war. Mm-hmm. The idea, uh, and then uh, that caused opium war to China to lose Hong Kong. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hong so Kong 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 Kong. Kong. Yeah. Ah, mereka kalah, okay. And then uh, the Brits and the French, like, then the German, what you do? Try to find excuses, you know, to force for the what uh, many the Chinese because the Chinese were uh, them not not wanting to continue with with the opium trade, which was forced onto them by the British. Right? Mm, yeah. And uh, that started the second, uh, the, the second of the war. Uh, of the war. Are you too French involved? You too. Know? That uh, led yeah. the second of the war. French involve, involvement. Uh, yeah. That led to the to the Treaty of Tianjin. You know. Uh, uh, that was in 1859. Uh, I too, uh, and then and then the British were already that time. You know. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. further, send them your gunboats up the uh, up the Pearl River. You know. Yeah. They uh, are yeah. uh, Hong Kong to some at us. Threatening uh, Peking, threatening Peking, yeah, yeah. Eh, and uh, the British ransack Peking, ransack uh, uh, the the Summer Palace and the Forbidden City, the Forbidden City. Forbidden City, correct, yeah. Okay, what, what a humiliation! And yeah. after that, after that second uh, the second phase of uh, of the Opium War, uh, the 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 uh, Kowloon was ceded to uh, to the British. Okay. Yeah. Kan baru kemarin ni nineteen nineteen So that years of humiliation, you know, yeah. humiliation by the West, by the British in particular, and by the West, you know. Yeah. And uh, during the, the the civil war, uh, during the civil war, right, between Mao and uh, Chiang Kai Shek, you know, yeah, yeah. between Mao, uh, the Red Army and the Kuomintang, you know. Correct, yeah. The West, in fact, the Americans chose to side Chen Yeah. And when they withdrew, when Mao managed to do, uh, push uh, the Kuomintang uh, out of the mainland and towards uh, uh, Taiwan, 
and the, the American, yeah. you know, that kind of thing, you know. So yeah. uh, look at the uh, the humiliation that they feel, you know. Yeah. So Jadi, one of the reason is uh, to regain that self-esteem, you know. Harga right. diri sebagai satu negara besar sekarang, you know. Correct. Yeah. Sebagai yeah. negara yang bisa bersaing Correct. dengan mereka. So, so you know, actually, really is a international pride, you know. And to erase that humiliation that was caused, you know, for hundreds of years on the Barat. Correct. You know. So if you are a Chinese, you know, you will yeah. feel that that, that 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 you will get that sight into you, you know. Yeah. Correct. You know? Yeah, yeah. We have been bullied. We are a big nation. We have been bullied, bullied for such many years, yeah. For some for hundreds of years. Yeah, yeah. You know, by the West. And now by the part. And then when the China was coming up, you know. Initially, yeah. initially, the big four or the big three in the upper uh, of the United Nations, yeah. uh, US, Britain, France, yeah. refused to accept uh, PRC as a, uh, uh, as a member and uh, as a member of the Security Council. You know, okay. they still uh, recognize Taiwan, uh, that kind of thing, you know, what a humiliation. And um, uh, PRC was isolated, you know, from... Uh, World uh, affairs from sporting events and the yeah. lot. Can yeah. you can do if you are Chinese, you will feel that immigration. Correct. You know? Yeah, yeah. And now they they, they so they are, they have managed to uplift their economic uh, status. You know, the, power. Their economic standards, economic power, you know, becoming uh, first, if it's, uh, second, if not the first economic power of the world now, a superpower in economy, and they have also managed to improve their when uh, Modernize uh, the uh, military. Uh, this was up uh, uh, the first started by Deng Xiaoping, you know, Correct. by Deng Xiaoping uh, in the eighties, yeah, uh, the, 80s, uh, the four modernization program Deng Xiaoping, you know, modernizing uh, the political system, modernizing uh, the uh, economic, economic system, system uh, uh, military and uh, technology. And then, then they are now menikmati those of, uh, four modernization program or yeah. plan by the European yeah. staff in it. Disambung yeah. oleh Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping, yeah. So now they are in a position, you know, not to be bullied anymore. Yeah, because they feel strong enough. Now, if you look around, kalau you tengok the, uh, the strategic map, huh? yeah. China is being contained by American bases. Ah, see. You know, the Okinawa, the Japan, the Guam, all yeah. along that, you know, and then the Southern Fleet flying up the Pacific, you know, they have been contained. You know. I see. To them, it's an insult. You know. And the South China Sea, being the maritime, major maritime, uh, it, uh, China, Chinese, when you um, to oil trade over eighty percent of China's oil trade passes through that. South China Sea, yeah. Of China Sea, and almost forty percent, thirty-nine point something percent, almost forty percent of the whole of China's trade yeah. will, goes through it. You know? Correct. And about one third of world trade, you know, passes through South China Sea. South China Sea, yeah. So to China, that is their lifeline. Correct. And being contained by American bases. I see, I see. And to them, being threatened by the American, by US 7th Fleet. You know? Yeah. They yeah. Were, <laughs> so they go back to history, you know, to the 11 dash line, but that, that they, they, they withdrew that when, uh, uh, with, the, uh, with the birth of uh, Vietnam, so they did away with the 11 dash line. So they okay. stuck to the 9 dash line. So to them, the nine dash line was first moved, was first yeah. in the map in 1947, or in fact in 1930 something. Uh, they followed by Kuomintang, uh, yeah. by Chiang Kai-shek in 1947, yeah. and then they followed by them by the PRC mm -hmm. in 1953. So to them, their yeah. maps have included all those areas about 90 percent of, of South China Sea. Eighty percent. Since 1930. Yeah. Since the 1930s and yeah. further improved uh, in their maps in 1947 and they continued with 1950 and now, you know. Yeah. And to them, Uncross was Kumaran. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uncross Baru Kumaran. 1994. Eh? Uh, 
80 apa itu 86 ya yeah. yeah. and then only ratify in 1994 so yeah. kemarin katanya and our yeah. maps have been there correct you know yeah. if you go back they is a since the king uh, since the apa uh, itu ming dynasty <laughs> correct yeah yeah you know? so they have a yeah, history so, so that's that apa so uh, one that's is a uh, self esteem national pride yeah. you know And uh, two is dia punya uh, lifeline, yeah. Correct. Lifeline penghidupan mereka, trip yeah. mereka. Now yeah. they are becoming economic power, you know. Yeah. So is apa tu? So because of that, itu yang uh, timbul dia punya um, uh, apa nama tu? Uh, Bat dan uh, uh, road dengan uh, belt punya. Bell, one bell, one road. Oh, one bell, one road. Ah, Bat and uh, road yeah. Yeah, initiative, yeah. you know. The old uh, 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 silk trip road. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so even that is also